Stade Rennes Football Club, commonly referred to as Stade Rennes FC, Stade Rennes, Rennes, or simply SRFC, is a French professional football club based in Rennes, Brittany. They compete in League One, the top tier of French football, and play their home matches at the Rojone Park. The team's president is Nicolas Halvec, and its owner is Artemis, the holding company of businessman Francois Pinault. Rennes was founded in 1901 under the name Stade Rennes and is one of the founding members of the first division of French football. Alongside Nantes, Rennes is one of the top football clubs in the region and the two are among the main clubs that contest the Derby Breton. The club's best finish in the league has been third, accomplishing this feat after the season was ended prematurely in 2019-20. Rennes has won three Coupe de France titles in 1965, 1971 and 2019. After winning the Coupe de France in 1971, Rennes changed its name to its current version. Rennes home colors are red shirts with black shorts and socks. They have a long-standing rivalry with fellow Breton club Nantes, with whom they contest the Derby Breton. Rennes is known for its youth academy, known in English as the Henri Garand Training Centre, which was formed in 2000. The French Football Federation recognized Rennes as having the best youth academy in the country in 2010. The cornerstone of the academy is the under-19 team, which has won the Coupe Gambardella three times in 1973, 2003 and 2008. The academy has produced several notable talents, such as Usman Dembélé, Yassine Brahimi, Eduardo Kamavinga, Yuan Gorkov, Yanam Bila, Moussa So, Abdoulaye Ducor, Silvan Wiltord, and Jimmy Brion. Stayed Renais in 1904. Stade Rennes Football Club was founded on March 10, 1901 by a group of former students living in Brittany. Football had quickly become widely circulated in nearby regions and it was soon brought to Brittany. The club's first match was played two weeks later against FC Rennes, which Stade lost 6-0. In 1902, Stade Rennes joined the USA Federation and, subsequently, became a founding member of the Ligue de Bretagne de Football, a newly created regional league founded by the Federation. In the second league season, the club won the competition after defeating the inaugural league winners FC Rennes 4-0 in the final. On May 4, 1904, Stade Rennes merged with its rivals FC Rennes to form Stade Rennes Université Club, with the primary objective being to overcome the recent domination of the Ligue de Bretagne by US Saint-Malo. Then known as US Saint-Servan, which fielded mostly British players. The new club adopted the colours of Rennes, which consisted of a red and black combination with black vertical stripes on the shirt. After three years of Saint-Malo dominating the league, Rennes finally eclipsed the club in 1908 under the leadership of Welsh manager Arthur Griffith. In the following season, Rennes won the league again, but in 1910 Rennes was unable to win a third, as Saint-Malo won the league by two points. The champion subsequently went on an impressive run in which it won the league for the next four seasons over. After World War I, Rennes began focusing its efforts on winning the recently created Coupe de France. Strengthened by the arrivals of internationals Bernard Lenoble, Maurice Gestiger, Ernest Mole, and Captain Francois Hughes after the war, in the competition's fourth campaign, Rennes reached the final. In the match, the club faced two-time defending champions Red Star Olympique, which was led by attacker Paul Nicholas, defender Lucien Gamblin and goalkeeper Pierre Cherigues. Red Star opened the scoring in the fourth minute and the match was concluded following a late goal from Raymond Santubri. After the disorganization of the USA in 1913, Rennes joined the Ligue de l'Ouest. In 1929, Rennes departed the league after disagreeing with the increased number of games the league sought to implement in the new season. The departure led to Rennes becoming a free agent, and the club played numerous friendly matches to compensate for the loss of league matches. The presidency of Isidore Odorico marked the history of the club during the 1920-1930s. In July 1930, the National Council of the French Football Federation voted 128-20 in support of professionalism in French football. Under the leadership of club president Isidore Odorico, Rennes was among the first clubs to adopt the new statute and, subsequently, became professional and became founding members of the new league. In the league's inaugural season, Rennes finished mid-table in its group. Two years later, in 1935, the club reached the final of the Coupe de France for the second time. Rennes, however, lost to Marseille 3-0 after failing to overcome three first-half goals. The club's attack was also limited in the match due to being deprived of its top two attackers, Walter Kaiser and Walter Wallweiler, who were both injured. 
Wren spent four more years in the first division before suffering relegation to Division II in the 1936-37 season. Wren played in Division II before professionalism was abolished due to World War II. After the war, Wren returned to Division I. Led by the Austrian-born Frenchman Franz Plier, Wren achieved its best finish in the league after finishing fourth in the 1948-49 campaign. Despite the domestic resurgence under Plier, the club struggled to maintain the consistency and, in the 1950s, rotated between the first division and the second division under the watch of the Spaniard Salvador Artigas and Henri Garan, who acted in a player-coach role. Under the leadership of new president Louis Girard, Rennes underwent a major upheaval, which included renovations to the stadium. Girard sought to make Rennes competitive nationally and the first objective was achieved when the club earned promotion back to Division 1 in 1958. After finishing in the bottom half of the table for six straight seasons, Wren, now managed by former club player Jean Proof, finished in fourth place in the 1964-65 season. In the same season, the club earned its first major honour after winning the Coupe de France. Wren, led by players such as Daniel Rodiguero, Georges Lamia and Jean-Claude Laveau defeated UA Sedan Torsi 3-1 in the replay of the final. The first leg of the match ended 2-2, which resulted in a replay. After the Cup success, Wren played in European competition for the first time in the 1965-66 season. The club, however, lost to Czechoslovakian club Dukla Prague in the first round. Jean Proof, pictured in 1935, led Wren to its major successes. In the ensuing years, Wren struggled in league play but performed well in the Coupe de France, reaching the semi-finals on two occasions in 1967 and 1970. In 1971, Wren captured its second Coupe de France title after defeating Lyon 1-0 with the only goal coming from a penalty conversion by André Guy. On May 23, 1972, Wren officially changed its name to its current form. After another season in charge, Proof departed Wren and the club entered freefall. From 1972 to 1994, Wren was supervised by 11 different managers and, during the years, consistently hovered between Division I and Division II. In 1978, the club was on the verge of bankruptcy and, as a result, was ordered by a tribunal to sell its biggest earners and enter a policy of austerity. In the 1980s, the city's municipality gained a majority stake in the club. In 1994, Wren returned to Division I and entered a period of stability mainly due to the utilization of the club's youth academy. Instead of entering bidding wars for players, Wren groomed its youngsters and inserted them onto the senior team when coaches felt they were ready. This strategy proved successful with players such as Silvan Wiltord, Jocelyn Gorvenek, and Ulrich Le Pen. In 1998, the club was sold by the municipality to retail magnate Francois Pinault. Pinault invested a substantial amount of funding into the club and sought to increase Ren production of youth talent by constructing a training center, which was completed in 2000. Pinault also paid for a completed reconstruction of the stadium and also invested in the transfer market, recruiting several players from South America, most notably Lucas Severino, whom Ren paid a record €21 million Euros for. The results were immediate in the decade from 2000 to 2010, with Wren appearing in UEFA-sanctioned European competitions in five of the ten seasons. In youth production, the club produced several youth talents such as Yanam Vila, Yassine Brahimi, Jimmy Brian, and Abdullah Diallo, among others. In league competition, Wren tied its best finish ever in the league by finishing fourth in 2004-05. Two seasons later, the club accomplished this feat again. In 2009, Wren reached the Coupe de France final for the fourth time in its history. In the final, Wren faced Breton rival Gongo and was the heavy favourite. Despite taking the lead in the second half, however, Wren was defeated 2-1 after Gongo scored two goals in a 10-minute span. In 2014, Wren made the Coupe de France final and once again their opponent was Gongo. In a tense final, Wren lost the match to their fierce rivals 2-0. In the 2017-2018 League One season, Wren had one of their best campaigns in recent memory finishing fifth and qualifying for the UEFA Europa League. In 2019, Wren claimed its third Coupe de France win on 27th of April. In the final, Wren played Paris Saint-Germain. The French Cup winners for the last four years were heavy favourites to beat Wren having already been crowned League One champions for the 2018-19 season on 21st of April. Wren rallied back from two goals down to beat Paris Saint-Germain 6-5 on penalties. In 2019-20 season, Wren finished third in League One and qualified for 2020-21 UEFA Champions League for the first time in their history. 
The Hermina symbols outside the Rojone Park Ren has played on the land where the club stadium, the Rojone Park, situates itself since 1912. The Rojone Park, then named Stade de Route de Lorian, which is its address, was constructed in 1912. The facility was inaugurated on September 15, 1912 in a match between Ren and S.A. du Lycée de Ren. The Stade de la Route de Lorient was officially inaugurated a month later when Ren took on Racing Club de France in front of 3,000 spectators. The Rojone Park is owned by the city of Ren and has undergone renovations three times, in 1955, 1983 and 1999. In 1983, the club renovated the stadium in an attempt to resemble the Olympiastadion in Munich. After nearly four years of renovation, the new stadium was unveiled on March 7, 1987. In 1999, the new renovations, which were designed by architect Bruno Godin, cost €37. Euros, 3 million and took four years to complete. The stadium's inauguration was celebrated twice, in a match between France and Bosnia and Herzegovina in August 2004, and another football match contesting by Ren and Metz two months later. The current capacity of the stadium is 29,778. The entrance to the École Technique Privé Oderico, a section of the Stade Rennes Youth Academy the Centre d'Entraînement Henri Garan, colloquially known as La Piverdier, was inaugurated in June 2000. Named for former club player and manager Henri Garan, La Piverdier is located on the outskirts of Rennes just southwest of Rojone Park. The centre hosts the senior team's training sessions, as well as the club's reserve and youth teams. In 2007, La Piverdier became the home of the club's administrative and business headquarters. Since its inception, La Piverdier has become reputed for its consistent production of youth talent, bringing through players that have become household names at the international level. In that time, the club's youth system has made up most of the club's first team. Current first team players Eduardo Kamavinga and Joris Nanyan were graduates of the academy. Ren has been awarded the honor of having the best youth academy in France. Rennes has won the Coupe Gambardella, the under-19 national youth competition, three times, in 1973, 2003 and 2008. In 2003, the team that won was anchored by Johan Gorkuf and Marvo. Gorkuf went on to win both the UNFP Player of the Year and French Player of the Year awards and established himself as a French international. Marvo graduated from the academy after the Gambardella triumph and went on to appear in over 100 matches for Rennes. He had his best season in the 2009-10 season, appearing in 38 matches and scoring 12 goals. In 2008, the team that won the competition was composed of Brahimi, Mvila, Supren, Johan Lassament, Quentin Ruger, Kevin Teofiel Catherine, and Damien Latalek. Six of the seven players made appearances with the first team. Latalek moved to German club Borussia Dortmund before he could make an appearance. Flares of the Rojone Celtic Cop at the Rojone Park. Ren have several supporter groups associated with the club, ranging from groups of senior supporters to ultras. The oldest, most structured and frequented is Alle Ren. The group was founded in 1962 and together with Les Socios, founded in 1992, is the largest group of traditional supporters. The section of the stadium popularly called Tribune Mordels is occupied by the Rojone Celtic Cop. Although the group was founded in 1991, its roots date back to 1987 when a group of supporters known as Ultras Rojone was formed. The RCK was formed by three young supporters who decided to establish the Mordell stand as the true hotspot of the stadium. The group marks its presence not only through continuous singing and the use of flares, but also through numerous tifos and choreographic celebrations. The Breton identity is regularly displayed and the use of Celtic symbols is frequent. A special feat of the RCK is that the group is responsible for having made the largest Gwenhadu in history measuring 270 square meters. It was displayed at the Mordell stand during the 1994-95 season. The RCK giving homage to the deceased former player Jean Proof in 2008. The RCK functions as an unconditional supporters group present at all matches, including those at European level, and gathers supporters mainly of the ultra mentality but also holds on to its values described by the group as amitié, respect at fate. The cop keeps an open attitude towards those supporters of Ren who share them. The group has taken a strong position against football business, the suppression of the ultra-movement and racism. Although the group is not officially political, it regularly manifests anti-fascism. The RCK is a member of the RSRA, a French network of football supporter groups against racism, 
and involved in FAIR, a European network of football supporter groups against racism and discrimination. Another major supporter group of the club is the section Rojon Paris. It is a section of the RCK that is situated in Paris. The group supports the team at important away matches, such as those against Lyon and Paris Saint-Germain. The RCK makes no attempt to hide its chaotic and festive appearance. In 2003, a second group of ultras, the Bray Sturmer was formed through a break with the RCK. The group was created around the idea of a small, strong core of supporters and chose to situate themselves on the opposite side of the RCK. The Bray Sturmer has been accused by elements of the RCK for certain members holding extreme right views. Violent clashes between radical members of the two groups have occurred. The main rival of the RCK has, however, not been the Bray Sturmer, but for many years, the Brigade Loire, a supporters group of Rennes rival club Nantes. The Bray Sturmer has since dissolved. In 2008, a new group of supporters, the Unves Kelt, was founded. The group was initially refused by the club as an official group, however, with the help of Les Socios, it was finally accepted. Failing to establish itself and after several problems, among them a fire that destroyed its premises in November 2010, clashes with the national police and incidents resulting in several of its members becoming arrested during an away match at Auxerre in 2012. The Unves Celt decided to dissolve in 2012. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Below are the notable former and current players who have represented Rennes in league and international competition since the club's foundation in 1901. For a complete list of former Stade Rennes FC players with a Wikipedia article, see here. Coaches since 1906 and later to the accession to professional status in 1932, with the exception of 1939-1941, where the Stade Rennes reverted to amateur status. And 1942-1944, where no coach was appointed by the board, and 1945 where the club didn't compete in any competition. Thanks for watching.